Welcome to our show, The Automobile Brief, where we dive into the latest and greatest from the world of cars, with a special focus on those electric dreams on wheels. Today, we've got a lineup that's as charged as a brand new EV battery, so let's get rolling. First up, it seems like Hertz is playing musical chairs with its CEOs again, as they bid adieu to their current leader following what's been dubbed an electric car horror show. Meanwhile, Audi is making waves with the unveiling of its Q6 e-tron, a luxury electric SUV that's been a bit tardy to the party. And over in the frosty fields of Sweden, Mercedes-AMG has been caught doing icy pirouettes with its latest EV prototype. On the other side of the globe, China is vowing to turbocharge its EV supply chain, while Elon Musk shares his personal recipe for staying innovative, which apparently includes a dash of prescription ketamine. And for those of you who like to keep your kitchen as tidy as your garage, there's a gadget that's straining to change your culinary life. Plus, if your furry co-pilot has left your car smelling less than fresh, we found a miracle pet odor eliminator that smells like real oranges. So, whether you're into the latest tech on four wheels, or just trying to keep your kitchen and car smelling sweet, we've got you covered. Please stay tuned for the detailed content, there's a lot under the hood today. Hertz CEO out following electric car horror show. CNN. Hertz is replacing its CEO again, marking the fifth boss to lead the car rental company in four years. The current CEO, Stephen Scher, will stand down at the end of this month and be replaced by former Delta Airlines COO Gil West. The company took a $245 million hit to its earnings in the most recent quarter due to the drop in the value of electric vehicles, EVs, it was selling. Hertz had announced plans to buy 20,000 EVs from Tesla in January, which has been linked to a drop in demand for EVs from traditional automakers. Audi unveils long-delayed Q6 e-tron just as electric vehicle growth cools. Bloomberg. Audi has unveiled its Q6 e-tron, a luxury midsize electric SUV, as it seeks to regain momentum in the struggling electric vehicle market. The vehicle, priced at €74,700, $81,315, features fast-charging technology that can reach 80% battery capacity in just over 20 minutes. The car, which was delayed by software setbacks, will be the first fully electric model made at Audi's headquarters in Germany. Audi's parent company, Volkswagen, is aiming to rejuvenate the brand with a record lineup of new models after it fell behind rivals and struggled in its biggest market, China. However, Audi's new CEO, Jernot Dolner, has said that the company is paring back its ambitious new model plans due to slowing EV growth in several European markets. Here's Mercedes-AMG sliding its EV prototype on a frozen lake. Yahoo! Mercedes-Benz AMG recently tested its EV prototype on a frozen lake in Sweden. The car is built on the new AMG.EA performance platform that is specifically engineered for electric vehicles, EVs. The platform utilizes axial flux motor technology, which is lighter and smaller than the radial flux setup typically used in EVs. The heavily camouflaged car features triple taillights similar to the 2022 Vision AMG concept, as well as LED headlamps and a raised front end. Mercedes-Benz AMG plans to continue testing the prototype on various proving grounds across different continents. China vows to pull all the stops for EV supply chain buildup. Nikkei Asia. The Chinese government has called on three state-owned automakers to increase their spending on research and development to develop a domestic electric vehicle, EV, supply chain. The government has promised to support the development of the EV sector, including encouraging consumers to replace old vehicles, resolving the lack of charging infrastructure and parking spaces and reducing the insurance burden. The government will also instruct China FAW Group, Dongfeng Motor and Chongqing Chang'an Automobile to increase their development capacity, even if their profits take a hit. Elon Musk details his prescription ketamine use, says investors should want him to keep taking it. CNN. Elon Musk has said he is almost always sober during his late-night tweeting sessions on his social media platform, X. In an interview, Musk discussed his use of the medication ketamine, saying he has a prescription from a doctor and uses a small amount once every other week or something like that. Musk denied overusing the drug and said he uses it to treat depression. Musk's comments come after recent reports about his alleged drug use and its impact on his companies. I'm a shopping editor, and this snap-on strainer changed my kitchen life, it's $10, over 40% off, ahead of Amazon's big spring sale. Yahoo! The Snap-N Strain, a compact and flexible strainer for pots and pans, is currently on sale for as low as $10 on Amazon. The strainer is made of silicone and can fit any round bowl, pot, or pan, making it versatile and space-saving. It is a quarter of the size of a regular colander and can be easily stored in a cutlery drawer. The strainer has received over 25,000 five-star reviews, with customers praising its convenience and functionality. 
It is currently marked down by over 40% and is available in multiple colors. The Snap-N strain is a top-selling product and rarely goes on sale, making the current discount a good deal for customers looking to save space in their kitchen. This miracle pet odor eliminator is down to $15, and it smells like real oranges. Yahoo! The Angry Orange Pet Odor Eliminator is a popular odor eliminating spray for pets that also doubles as a room fragrance. It has received nearly 80,000 five-star reviews on Amazon and is currently available for $15. The 24-ounce bottle is said to last a long time, even when dealing with strong pet odors. The spray can be used on carpets and hard flooring to remove urine spots and deodorize stains. It is made with real orange and has a citrus fragrance that is safe to use around pets and children. The spray is potent and can eliminate any type of stink with just a couple of sprays. Customers have reported using it to remove the smell of pet urine, skunk spray, and other unpleasant odors. The spray has received rave reviews and is highly recommended by pet owners. It is even used by Snoop Dogg for his own pet. The only downside reported by customers is that the lid can be tight, but this is seen as a minor inconvenience. Overall, the Angry Orange Pet Odor Eliminator is a highly effective and pleasant-smelling spray for pet odors. Decoding China, Driving Ahead Towards EV Dominance Deutsche Welle Chinese electronics manufacturer Xiaomi is set to release its first electric vehicle, the SU-7, in China on March 28. The vehicle will be a direct competitor to Tesla and Porsche, with a base price of €33,000, $36,000, making it comparable to a Tesla Model 3 and less than a third of the price of a Porsche Taycan. The SU-7 has a top speed of 265 km per hour and a maximum range of 800 km, Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun said the company aims to build a dream car that rivals its competitors from the US and Germany. Xiaomi is primarily known for its smartphones and household appliances, but like other Chinese electronics firms, it is expanding into the automotive industry. China is the world's largest manufacturer of electric vehicles and leads in battery production, giving Chinese carmakers a strong position in the global market. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.